447 with free shipping. That is the cheapest actual spinning reel on Amazon. And the name of it is Kaka, so that's that's perfect. Or no, I got a fish. Now I do. And it's a bass. Okay, I am going to Amazon. I already have an idea of what I'm going to buy because I've been doing a little bit of research on it. And, uh, well, let's see if I can find it doing this. I do need a couple of new fishing reels for some, like, my ultralight rods. I need a 200 size, or, well, not, not even a 200 size, really a 100 size, but uh, 200 ought to be good enough. Uh, you see, most of what comes up on Amazon is all sponsored advertisements, like, bestseller sponsored right there this one the first one that comes up sponsored right there golden fish 2 like that thing looks ridiculous that is weird line I don't that thing looks weird it looks like a vintage antique style <clears throat> and let's see all this typical stuff you expect to see pin battle $85 Cast King, $26. So, let's go ahead and do sort by low to high. Uh, this one starts at a penny. I've already looked at these. They're like $13 shipping. So, these do not count as the cheapest reels on e Amazon. Here you go. This one here says $12.99 shipping. Uh, reel seats and everything. That one's just a bag. Most of them are ice reels. And then you start getting the sponsored stuff again. That throw, totally throws off your order of that you've requested or that you've set up. Like the sorting by price that sponsored stuff. They throw those in the middle and it throws you off. Uh, it's going to be a pain in the ass to find it because they're all... That's what people do. They list it for a penny and then they charge you like $20 shipping. Uh... That's actually kind of cool. A little miniature fishing reel keychain. See, there you go. This one's $3.59, $11.99 shipping. And there are some on here that are cheap with free shipping. So you've got to sort through all the garbage to find them. Even though they probably are garbage themselves, but still, they're not mislabeled like some of this other stuff is. There we go. Well, that's one of them, but that one's 4.29 plus 3.99 shipping. We can do better than that. There it is, right there. And the name of it is Kaka, so that's that's perfect. 4.47 with free shipping. That is the cheapest actual spinning reel on Amazon. And its name is Kaka, so. <laughs> you know what you're getting and it's a red one let's see oh four four they're all about the same price let's see what color do I want gold so silver there we go four okay let's go with the black and silver one add to cart and uh, yeah we're gonna wait till this get here wait till this gets here and finish this video and maybe my voice won't sound so bad by the time it gets here okay the caca reel has come in it came in earlier today uh, I've got a little bit of time here to fish, hopefully I can catch something on it pretty quick. Uh, it came pre-spooled with some line. Um, I have no idea about the quality of this line. It's probably really cheap and not very good. It's probably going to be like four to six pound line, eight at the most. And uh, but yeah, I'm going to use it and see how it, how well it works. So far, it seems like it's pretty solid. Uh, I have actually bought these before, and they were they were a lot cheaper and a lot more cheap plasticky. This seems a little bit better, but it's 
still the same thing, so we'll find out. And as to be expected, since this is cheap line and who knows how long it's been on this reel and whatever warehouse it came from, uh, it's got some line, line memory, coil memory to it. So I really should run it under some warm water, but I don't have access to warm water at the moment. So I'm just gonna use it as it is and hopefully the cold water will straighten out the line. Okay, I will give them a little bit of credit on the line. Uh, my knot didn't quite come out right, but the line, when I tied it together here, the line feels pretty good. It feels pretty strong. It's, it's fairly thin, but now that I'm feeling it in my hands and pulling it together, it feels like it might be, it might actually be 10 pound or 12 pound line, which is really too heavy for this reel, but this line feels pretty good. I mean, we'll, we'll see how well it works but it, it feels good. All right, what I'm actually gonna use is a black Runkel finesse worm. And I'm going with black because the last time I was here, I was catching some sunfish that were super dark. So I think black is gonna be the color to use. These sunfish were so dark, they were almost black. Uh, so, yeah. The last time I was here was my uh, backyard baits video, so if you saw that, you know what I'm talking about. So I've got that hooked up. Got it. Feels good. It feels like the right size reel for this rod. Uh, here's the first cast with it. Actually cast it pretty well. Probably a little bit too far. Reel it in some. Uh, it landed in some debris over there, so hopefully it's not snagged. I don't think it's snagged, but... No, I got it through. This line is impressing me. Every time I get snagged, I can pull right out of it. Whatever this line is, this line alone is worth, it's worth more than the reel. It really is. Okay, so... So far on basic retrieves and I imagine on smaller fish, panfish, ultralight fishing basically, this reel will get the job done. But unfortunately I think if you hook into something a decent size, you'll probably be able to land it with it, but like getting snagged and really heavy fish, I don't think it'll hold up too much. The handle at this joint right here. This, hand, this is definitely going to break off at some point. It's not going to last very long. Uh, it's cool that you can collapse the arm like that. Not a lot of reels have that. Well, a lot of reels do, but the majority of reels don't. Uh, but, and you can see here how wobbly it already is. And it moves, it moves on the inside of it too. So, yeah. Uh, if you can't afford anything else, then it'll get the job done. But... Uh, yeah, I would suggest using really cheap baits and stuff that you don't mind losing that way and a really lightweight line that way you can snap off instead of snapping your reel. But I don't know. It's uh, I haven't caught anything on it yet, but it it's living up to its name, the Kaka reel. Although this line, <laughs> this line has been impressing me so far. This this cheap Chinese line is worth the amount that I paid for the reel. So maybe is it maybe it is a better deal than I'm giving it credit for. Are you kidding me? I got snagged in the same spot again. Or no, I got a fish. Now I do. And it's a bass. I think it's a bass. It's either a giant a giant sunfish or a bass. There we go. Oh, he slipped off. Oh my god. That was at least a one pound bass. It's been so long since I've had a bass out of this section. That's highly disappointing, but I had a good look at him myself. You probably couldn't see him on the camera, but that was a nice bass. I got snagged and then when it popped free from the snag, I guess he grabbed it. Or maybe he grabbed it and took it under the snag.
And of course, that was my fault that I lost the fish. I don't know why I just didn't set the hook because I guess because I thought it was going to be a sunfish. So I just didn't set the hook. I should have set the hook even over here. I still could have set the hook, but I don't know. I just did not set the hook when I should have. Well, everybody should know that I hate putting out videos where I don't catch any fish. So I'm bringing the reel back out to try it out with the, I've got a jig head and some, uh, got dug up some more backyard baits, grubs and stuff to throw. And, uh, depending on the conditions over here, I might even throw some swim baits too. So probably not going to catch anything terribly big, but we'll see. Now, so far this reel, it's perfectly fine as like a panfish reel or a, you know, smaller fish. I know the snags and stuff, eventually it's gonna break here, the handle, but I'm not sure, but I'm sure it'll hold up to some, uh, maybe bass. I mean, I don't think it would bring in like a red or something from the coast. So many things to get snagged on in here. Like tree branches, rocks, cast nets that got snagged on tree branches and rocks. Is that a fish? Do I have a fish? I think I, I got one. What is it? It's a little bass. Wow. I was not expecting that. Pretty cool. Little Guadalupe bass. That's pretty sweet. Alright, whatever these things are, they've got like a face on their tail end. Unless they just crawl backwards everywhere. But they're about an inch long. They move around like inchworms, but they look like night crawlers, but they're an inch long. And they fit perfectly on these jig heads. Now it's a... a Oh, I got a fish. I was just about to start talking about the retrieve on it, and I got one. As you can see, it handles small fish like this little bluegill here perfectly fine. And it's a fairly slow retrieve. So, I mean, um, I think it'd be good for, like, maybe little inline spinners or small jig baits, or, or jig baits, swim baits, stuff like this. Uh, so, uh... Sometimes I, I prefer just a slower retrieve. I don't need it to give, be too fast. It's probably most comparable to the Zebco Stinger. But I mean, the Zebco Stinger is a much better reel than this is. And it doesn't cost that much more. I mean, it's only, the Zebco Stinger is like, what, 10, $10, something like that. This was four or $5, so it's about half the price. But it's, it's comparable to it. Gonna try a little chartreuse swim bait. Maybe they can see it a little better. And I got snagged. And as I'm fighting the snag, I can show you again. Maybe because it's, it's a little brighter now than it was the last time. We can see that. Um, you can see it. There's a gap forming right there when I try to reel it in, just from the pressure and the tension. And oh, I got it back. I was not expecting to get my bait back on that. So yeah, that handle, that handle's the weakest part of the reel. That is going to break before the rest of it does. Other than that, it's actually a pretty decent little reel. But that handle, that handle's going to break. I guarantee you that handle will break on you eventually. But I mean, if you're spending, if you, you're only spending four or five dollars at a time, maybe it's worth it. You know what? They just hit it there. I figured out a small pattern here. I don't know why I wasn't doing it sooner. They want it to be stop and go. So they'll hit it every time it, it starts to move. So I'm gonna try stop and go patterns. Similar to jigging, but not quite as fast. Uh, jigging, you just bounce it up and, off, up and down off the bottom. This, you retrieve it a couple of feet, almost up to the surface, and then let it sink back down. Let it sit there for a couple of seconds, and then start retrieving it again.
Oh, I got him. Got him. Finally. Oh, he's pulling and fighting hard right here at the end. It's another little bass. A little wild. No? It's not yet. No, it's a spotted bass this time. So I got spotted bass and quads in here. And yeah, this this bass right here, this is ideal for this reel. The reel, if you're targeting fish like this, this reel is perfect. And it actually pairs with this rod, the weight of this rod pretty well. So it's a it's a light reel with a light rod that it works really well. It's a nice pairing here. And as crappy as the reel is, this rod's pretty crappy too, so it's an even better pairing. So, there you go. This reel is... I mean, I'm not going to lie to you and say it's like this awesome reel. But, I mean, it's better than you would expect it to be. And that's pretty impressive, because... Yeah. It's, it's, it is better than you would expect it to be. For sure. But... It is still a very low-end, low-quality reel. And it, I can promise you the handle is going to break off on you. 